Absolutely incredible. Yep. Absolutely, positively incredible. I mean, you're not a, I wasn't expecting anything in the beginning. You know, and you get two outs, and like, you know, okay, Jake Rogers, all right. I, and he hits a sharp single. You go, okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, Trey Sweeney, I mean, what's he going to do? I, I, he's not going to be able to get on base. And you get Carpenter to the plate, and he does. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, okay, all right. Does Kerry Carpenter have a chance here? And, I mean, it's it's in the back of everybody's mind that there's a chance. But, I mean, I think for the most part, people are like, not likely. Not like, Maybe maybe gets lucky and, and just kind of punches one over to, to the third base side. He goes opposite field, and it just kind of drops in for a base hit to bring in Jake Rogers. And, whoo, nail biter in the ninth if we can hold on to this one nothing lead. But he turned on it. Yeah. You know, Class A was throwing 101 miles an hour. And then throwing this 91, 94 mile an hour slider, whatever he was in, in that range. And three in a row, I mean, hitters get a chance to see a pitch more than once, and, and then they see it more than twice. Yep. They can catch up to it. And he did, and he made he did not miss it, made no mistake about it. And like I said, when I saw it, I didn't when it left the bat, I'm like, that's not gonna be strong enough, is it? But then Dude. a half second <laughs> later, the bat flip. Yep. And you know it's gone. You don't do the bat flip unless you know it's gone. Yep. I mean, it must have felt so pure for him. You know, pitch comes in at a high rate of speed, but pitch goes out at 111 miles an hour. His greatest exit velocity. It's the greatest exit velocity off of any pitch, uh, a hit off of Class A. And it gave the it's Tigers the best a three swing anybody's lead. ever had off this guy. Kang, where were you in it and what happened? You know, I don't mess with the mojo. I don't mess with the mojo. So I was sitting in the same spot on the couch when the Tigers won their you know, other two games against the Astros. Um, we didn't text each other. No. Nope. Three of us. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Gator. Thought about texting. it. And I'm like, can't do it. Can't do it. Can't All right. It. Thank you. No matter what. It was 0 0 the entire game. No one sent a text. Thank you for that. So I was sitting on the couch. And when the first two outs happened in the inning, I'm like you guys. I'm like everybody else. You know, no shot, whatever. Rogers gets on base. I mean, that's nice. Okay, you know, get a, you know, maybe some confidence for the future, the rest of the series. When Sweeney got on base and moved Rogers over, I was like you, Doug. By the way, when Sweeney hit that, I'm like, just send Rogers because there's no way you're just. <laughs> this is our last chance. You know, Can you, you have to score yeah. from first. I hope they hit. screw up the relay. They <laughs> throw like, it into the first row. Yeah, maybe you know you light Rogers' shoe on fire at first go, or go, something. Go. Yeah, anything to get him going. But of course, the smart he would have been out by a mile. But a smart thing, you leave him at third and you you hope for the best with Carpenter. Now, I do think. The Kerry Carpenter is basically, in my opinion, the only true professional hitter the Tigers have, okay? I know Riley Green was the all-star, and other guys have come up with bigger hits, but I think the Guardians fear Kerry Carpenter by leaving Boyd in earlier in the game so they wouldn't have to put face Carpenter. And so they know they fear Carpenter, and I think Carpenter's a really good hitter that should be feared, especially against right-handed pitchers. When I felt really good about it, I'm not this guy. You know how there's a guy who always calls a home run in every player right, that comes right. up there? He's going to hit a home run. Going deep. Yeah. This one's going Rogers deep. Rogers comes up there, yeah. he's going to hit a home run. Oh, Sweeney's up, he's going to hit a home run. No, I'm not that guy. But after the first two pitches were outside, and I felt like, well, he's going to have to throw a strike at some point. He's going to maybe groove one in there, and Carpenter's going to have him timed up. I felt I didn't, I didn't think he was going to hit a home run, but I felt really strong about his at-bat. And Gator, you're right. He didn't swing like you know. Riley Green takes huge hacks, massive cut. Yeah, uppercut. That's not Kerry Carpenter style. He no. has his smooth swing and right in the wheelhouse, and that thing was pure, like you said, right was, in the barrel of the bat, sweet spot. Goodbye. I mean, it's one of those hits that you probably don't even feel it off the bat because it's just so perfect and pure. And and thank you, Kerry Carpenter, for doing it. He is the best pure hitter on the team. Against right-handers. Yes, I know his numbers against left-handers are not yeah. nearly as good. But there's no question that, I mean, there's nobody you'd rather have in a situation with a right-hand pitcher on the mound than Kerry Carpenter because he just kills right-handers. Uh, it's like if left-handers are on, on the hill, probably nobody you'd rather have than Andy Abanez because he kills left-handers, which is crazy to think Andy Abanez is that guy, but he is that guy. And Carpenter's that guy against, against righties. Hopefully in years to come, he develops a, a better approach against lefties, uh, and, and he can stay in games and, and show that he's even better. Doug, it would have been awesome if you were outside and you yelled, right? You yep, yelled outside. Yep, yep. You should have keep kept yelling, stayed out there, and see if anyone would have joined you in the I, neighborhood. It's funny because <laughs> I, I wanted to get back in and see the game, but I was like, I did run out. And I pumped my fist. I, I ran all the way out to the sidewalk, and I kind of looked around, and I'm like, 
So it's just me, huh? Anybody? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. No, I wouldn't expect anybody else to run outside, but you know, my wife was on a live Zoom call and acknowledge and I think, me. Yeah. So I just I turned and made my way back into the house. I actually missed the Veerling single, to be honest with you. I was, <laughs> I, I was out, out there, there for, for a while. I was out there for a minute. Um, anyway. Start so text ringing doorbells. Hey, hey. I gotta tell you, it was uh it was quite a moment. But I'll do what we did last week. Where were you? Now, when it was a, it's a four o'clock start, so a lot of people probably did get home. But where were you when Carrie Carpenter launched that early Monday evening moonshot into right field? Uh, where were you?